After I videotaped all of this, I decided to make this a multi-part deal in order to break it up a little bit so that you don't have to stay through 45 minutes worth with talking. I broke it up in several smaller increments. This first increment here deals with the advertising brochure, breaking it down, explaining things, and showing you how I look at them. So as promised, this is the first video of a couple more to come here. We're going to talk about the Everlast Power iMic 275P. And I printed out the brochure, uh, two pages, front and back, as well as a 54 or 55 page manual. The 55th page is basically empty. So I have the first 54 pages of the manual here. And um, if you're looking for Everlast quality, this is not the video. If you're looking for Everlast customer service, this is not the video. If you want to see Sparks, you tune into the next video. This video here is to explain how this machine works and why it does what it does and how Everlast advertises this machine to you. So, Everlast Power iMIG 275P make Pulse MIG completely redefined. So you can download this all. The nice thing is Everlast has this really detailed manual, everything there on their website. You can download it for free. Um, I'm gonna put some links in the description. You can go in there, download this for yourself and make sure that this is the actual stuff that I'm showing you here. Uh, I just downloaded five minutes ago, so nothing is altered or out of date. The Power iMIG is a completely new approach to Pulse MIG technology. Pulse MIG technology in wireless has often been rejected for being too complicated to set up or too difficult to understand, with multiple layers of pro programming that must be memorized. So I don't know where this comes from, but this is the way how they tell you how it is. Not so the Power iMac 275P. All controls are simple to understand and right on the front where you can access them. So right here. It's labeled. If you're smart, they're simple to understand, and they're right here to access. So, so far, so far, so good. Another difference is that the Power iMac 275P pulses voltage rather than wire speed. Now, this is pretty typical for a pulse MIG machine, and it doesn't matter if yours is red, yellow, blue, silver, whatever your problem is, whatever your machine is. Typically on a MIG machine, voltage is pulsed, not um, the wire feed. The wire feed basically results, makes amperage. The thicker the wire diameter is or the faster you feed it, the more amperage you're putting through the machine. So you can't really pulse the wire speed, at least not at like 30, 50, 100, 250 hertz because the the wire feed would not be that responsive. You're pulsing voltage. The wire speed is constant. You're pulsing the voltage. So this is not really anything special. This is the way how it works, at least on a single pulse machine. This machine is a single pulse machine, so we're talking about single pulse at this point here. This sets the MIG apart from other Pulse MIGs and makes it easier to dial the settings that will work for you. Now I don't know how that sets it apart from others because basically on a single Pulse everybody is pulsing voltage, nobody is pulsing amperage or wire speed. You know, on double Pulse this may be different but on single Pulse this is basically how everybody does it. No, the unit isn't tied to a preset program, but rather allows the user to instantly and easily make changes on the fly that work for the application. So basically, Everlast suggests here that this is a full manual pulse, nothing is factory pre-programmed, and nothing uh, you, you tied to no presets. You can adjust everything yourself. Now on the flip side, that means you have to adjust everything yourself. Now this is the difference between a full manual and a synergic pulse. If you have a red, blue, silver, yellow machine, your 
pulse is a synergic pulse and on this Everlast machine, it's a full manual pulse. Now basically telling you that you're in the driver's seat, you're in control, you can adjust all this, is fine and dandy, but on the flip side it means you have to adjust all these parameters. There is no program you can choose where the machine just works. So you need all of these settings and they all need to be right in order for the machine to deliver um, acceptable results. After a little practice, adjusting the Everlast version of a Pulse MIG becomes second nature. And this is exactly what it is. It's the Everlast version of a Pulse MIG because everybody else does things different. So either they know something that everybody else does not know and makes them really good or they're not quite there yet with this machine. Now we'll dig a little deeper through this and find out find out where we're at here. The adjustable features of the pulse include pulse voltage, pulse frequency, and pulse on time. Each one of those three variables affects the wet-in, the heat transference, penetration, and overall profile of the beat. Yes, but not necessarily in this order and not necessarily linked, linked to these words. But all of these things are affected. Also arc length are affected. Um, heat affected zone is affected. Um, the beat profile is kind of a given. On a single pulse, it's basically the beat will look similar to a no pulse, just straight up aluminum spray arc, because in reality, if you're looking for beat profile, you need a double pulse or pulse on pulse machine, because you won't have a significant other beat profile using a single pulse machine. This unit is considered a single pulse MIG and works well for aluminum application requiring heat control. Yes, and in the in the next episode, we'll put some wire in and we'll see how well it really works or how well I can get it to work. There might be people out there that are better than me that get it to work in a different way. In fact, this unit can be used with an optional push-pull gun designed just for running with a large roll quantities aluminum wires. It also features spool gun capabilities as well as those needing to sink a little less money into overhead. So now, that's the advertising, right? Looks better in color. You look on the website, the thing is right there. Whatever I read you, you can just read on the website. Then you have a couple specs here. It tells you things. And now let's take a look. Let's take a look at the manual here. And I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. I'm not gonna read you all 54 pages because this is already getting too long. But we need to understand what this full manual single pulse system will do and what it won't do for you. 